Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be answering the question, is Vocal Synth 2 worth the price? Hmm, you'll know by the end of this video, I'll be showing you some examples of Vocal Synth in action. I'll be showing you how you can use it in your own music and how it can be used basically walking through the different modules and giving you an overview of how it works okay so if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now before we get straight into this, let me give you some prefacing of Vocal Synth 2 and how we conduct reviews on this channel. If you haven't watched one of my reviews before, the way I do this is I walk through the features page of the plugin of the product that I'm reviewing and basically check to see whether it's just marketing spiel or if it's actually the real deal, basically. So we're gonna look through what the PR department says is great about the product and I'll let you know what's actually great or terrible about the product and then at the end of the video i'll let you know if it's worth the price the asking price that they're actually asking for so vocal synth 2 is a great way in my opinion to enhance your vocals add a bit of spice add a bit of sauce to your vocals and i'll show you exactly how as we move throughout the video but let's just get this started and get straight into this okay so first of all into plugin communication we don't really need to talk about that basically what this means is this plugin will work with other isotope plugins so if you've got other isotope plugins this will work with it and it tells you the plugins that this will work with neutron 3 visual mixer ozone 8 tonal balance control insight 2 relay and nectar 3 great stuff okay i personally do not use any of that for inter plugin communication whatsoever i just use vocal synth by itself so first of all the first feature we've got to look at is auto mode midi mode and sidechain mode now let me quickly explain the way that these work and then i'll show you auto mode in action because that's the only mode i actually use okay so auto mode what it does is it pitch corrects your vocals and basically automatically adds the effects that you choose in vocal synth so that's the way that that works midi mode is it uses midi data to pitch your vocals to the midi data that you've played for example you can create some chords and uh, or just write in a few notes and move around to the way you want your vocals to move and then you can basically choose that midi data to be the input for vocal synth and then with your audio file it it will basically make your audio file match the MIDI data's pitch that you have created, okay? So this is how you can get that classic vocoder or talk box sound, okay? Now, sidechain mode allows you to basically hook up vocal synth to a different melodic element of your beat. So for example, you could say it to the main chords of your beat, which is like a quicker way to do the MIDI mode kind of feature. I've tried this out before in my song Hill, but I haven't really used it since. It worked okay there, but it's not something that I have really got enough experience with to be like, yeah, this is how it works. Generally, I just use auto mode. So let me bring up Studio One, which is what I use to record my vocals. And what we'll do here, first let's close this because this isn't necessary. What I'll do here, is I'll play a bit of this uh, first half of this chorus and then I'll mute everything so you just hear what vocal synth is doing. The way I like to use vocal synth is I like to use it as a layering device with my layered vocals. So I'll pan my vocals left and right and then I'll have my main vocals in the middle and with the vocals that are panned left and right, I'll usually have a uh, untreated one with just auto tune and that sort of stuff and compression and EQing and then I'll have another version with those vocal with that vocal synth plugin and those vocal synth effects and that's how I create my choruses basically that's the effects that I use but I like my vocal synth elements to kind of be very very subtle you kind of don't really notice it's there unless you're looking for it I don't want it to overpower anything I just want it to add some oomph add some spice add some flavor so let's listen back to this eight bar loop I believe making money in my sleep make me smile yeah So 
so that is i think that was like actually four bars but that is our main vocals with our vocals panned right and left without vocal synth on it and then with the vocal synth panned right and left okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna single out our vocal synth channels so let's do that right now and then we'll play this back so you can kind of hear what vocal synth is doing and what effects i'm using Making money in my sleep, make me smile, yeah I hit in the woods, I've been grinding for a while, yeah Hit it on my own, I don't owe nobody nothing Feel a dream for nothing so it has kind of a distorted kind of robotic feel going on and I, I like that i like to add that undertone to add some grit add some sauce add some flavor to my vocals especially in the chorus to kind of make it have some more oomph and have it basically in your face a little bit more and i'm using the auto mode so let me bring up vocal synth right about now and i'll show you what's going on here so vocal synth has a bunch of presets we're going to talk about that in a bit but first of all let me just show you what's going on so i'm using auto mode and with auto mode you can basically choose the pitch of your song and it pitch corrects it you can choose the speed the strength and that sort of stuff and it basically that's basically what it's doing it's pitch correction it picks correcting it and then you can add all your other elements your other effects on top so it pitch corrects it first and then all the other elements come into play so that's what's going on right about right about now and that's how i use vocal synth for my songs now let's go and check out the next features now obviously we're not going to go through midi mode and sidechain mode as i said before i don't really use that so i'm not really going to go deep into that i'm sure isodop has a bunch of videos on those features that you can see those it being used in more depth but let's go through their elements okay so first of all we've got biovox now what i'm going to do here is you should be listening in headphones by the way but what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up studio one and i'm just going to focus on this vocal so i'm going to get rid of my other vocal and we're going to bring this vocal into the middle now this vocal was in uh was panned to the left before but we're going to bring it into the middle so that we can just see all these elements and kind of see what's going on so this is biovox let's quickly see what they're saying biovox does this says synthesis is inspired by the human voice add adjust vocal characteristics like nasality vowel shapes and formants on any audio source okay so we'll just play with the settings so you can kind of see what the difference is and because this line is a bit short we're going to bring you to the main chorus over here so let's get into it and let's hear what biovox sounds like by itself so this is my settings so that is biovox okay also all these settings do have some extra advanced settings that you can play with with lfos and oscillators and this and that but i don't touch that yet i just set a preset and then I mess around with these basic settings and we just keep it moving from then on. So I'm not gonna go super deep into any of these advanced settings, okay? Next we have the vocoder and the explanation is essential format crafting tool. This indispensable vocal tool gives you the flavorful vocal sounds you know and love. So this is probably a main reason why a lot of people would gravitate to grabbing vocal synth too. So let's hear what this vocoder is actually doing and what it sounds like, okay? Are we, yeah, we're gonna have to move this back, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, cool, let's play this. Oh, 
So that is the vocal up. Please keep in mind that these effects down here do affect what's going on up top. So let's just play the vocal up without any of these effects down here. Money in my sleep make me smile, yeah. Hide it in the walls, I've been grinding for a while, yeah. Did it on my own, I don't owe nobody nothing. Built a dream from nothing, yeah. Ain't so many else, but had the will to win, yeah, yeah. I can't trust that nigga if he ain't me, dog. Meeting for the re up with the safety off. Ain't on half the shit you try to blame me for. Nothing personal and I ignore your calls. And of course, there are a bunch of presets and whatnot. I'm not going to go through them right now. I'll show you, you know, there's, I think there's around 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 21 presets. You can also find the presets through here, which will basically add presets to every single element of this to get a specific sound let's quickly let you hear biovox without any of these elements down here so you can hear what that sounds like raw money in my sleep make me smile yeah hide it in the walls i've been grinding for a while yeah did it on my own i don't owe nobody nothing built a dream from nothing too much breath in this is not good. Okay, so that's Biovox and Vocoder. Next, we've got CompuVox, which I personally do not use for this specific preset. But let's see what they've got to say about CompuVox. It says modern robotic bit crushing effects, glitchy computeristic sounds, perfect for space age hooks or crush digital vocals. Generally, I don't want to bit crush my vocals because it's a bit much and it doesn't really sound great personally to me. So let's listen to this back. Oh, go grow, make your money in my sleep, make me smile, yeah. Hide it in the walls, I've been grinding for a while, yeah. Did it on my own, I don't owe nobody nothing. Feel a dream from nothing. Yeah, ain't so many else but had the will to win. Yeah, yeah. I can't trust that nigga if he ain't me, dog. Me and for the re up with the safety off. Uh, ain't done half the shit you tried to blame me for. Nothing personal. And okay, so CompuVox generally doesn't really get the sound that I like to go for, so I leave it alone. Vocoder is nice. Biovox is cool as well. It gives you a nice ambiance, a nice different type of sound that basically just adds a little bit more oomph to your vocals. Talkbox, let's see what they got to say about Talkbox. Vintage style envelope modulation, get that chunky, unmistakable sound of a Talkbox without a learning curve or hardware setup. I guess so, because like these four um, parameters are very very easy and the presets that you can use very very easy as well and you don't have to get the hardware obviously because this is a software instrument so let's hear this back money in my sleep make me smile yeah hide it in the walls i've been grinding for a while yeah did it on my own i don't owe nobody nothing built a dream from nothing yeah ain't so many else but had the will to win yeah yeah I can't trust that nigga if he ain't me, dog. Me and for the re up with the safety bar. Ain't none half the shit you try to blame me for. Nothing personal and I ignore your calls. Ain't so many else but had the will to win. Yeah, yeah. I can't trust that nigga if he ain't me, dog. Me and for the re up with the safety bar. Ain't none half the shit you try to blame me for. Nah this changing the thing doesn't really make much of a di difference to me to be honest i'm not hearing uh, yeah. much of a difference like changing this mode i for a while yeah did it on my own i don't owe nobody nothing built a dream from nothing yeah ain't so many else but had the will to win yeah yeah i can't trust that nigga if he ain't me dog me and for the re up with the safety uh ain't none half the shit you try to blame me for it seems like the drive the more you push the drive up and the speaker up, the more you get that like talk box sound effect. I don't even remember where this setting was at, so I can't even get back to where I had it. Oh no, please don't crash on me. Please don't crash. 
vocal synth by the way uses a lot a lot of cpu in studio one it's pretty fine but if you're trying to use this in fl studio it might give you some trouble so just keep that in mind use a lot of cpu you're gonna need to turn a bunch of other stuff off and you're gonna need to bounce out that audio especially if you're trying to record your vocals in fl studio however in studio one it pretty much is fine generally but you might still need to bounce down your audio to just keep everything smooth and running perfectly so let's see what they're saying for polyvox instant fullness and character control create rich or create beautiful rich harmonies or add body to your vocal with realistic doubles okay so let's check this out money in my sleep make me smile yeah hide it in the walls i've been grinding for a while yeah did it on my own i don't owe nobody nothing built a dream from nothing yeah ate so many else but had the will to win yeah yeah i can't trust that nigga if he ain't me dog meeting for the react with the safety bar okay so that's basically that remember i do have an eq set up after this vocal synth just to take out a lot of those frequencies which i just don't like um but let's walk through a few of the presets polyvox does add a little bit of um what's it called they do add some harmonies and whatnot honestly not as much harmony as i would have liked from this specific module you get more harmonies if you use nectar 3 and you use the what's what's the thing called i'm not even sure but it's, there's there's some module where you can add a bunch of voices let's actually quickly go to nectar 3 so you can see what i'm talking about so i can find it for you make sure you know what's going on so in nectar 3 if we go to harmony of course go to harmony harmony is better in nectar 3 than it is with this vocal synth stuff like the vocal synth poly what's it called poly polyvox is cool but it's not as good as nectar 3's harmony thing because you can add different voices and you can change where those voices are actually at how they sound what pitch they are and that sort of stuff with nectar 3 you can't really do that in polyvox here like it does add a slight variation in the vocals like you can hear that higher tone but it just sounds like there's only one of them it doesn't sound like there's a bunch of them which is what i kind of expected with the polyvox okay so now they've got a bunch of exclusive preset packs and whatnot let's quickly look through a few presets let's try bad robot Wow, that is super low. Pretty much can't even hear that. That actually sounds pretty cool. We have Polyvox. Oh, that sounds very nice. Money in my sleep, make me smile, yeah. Hide it in the walls. I've been grinding for a while, yeah. Did it on my own. I don't owe nobody nothing. Built a dream from nothing. Yeah. Extra substance. Ain't so many else, but had the will to win. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't trust that nigga if he ain't me, dog. Me and for the rear with a safety off. Ain't none half the shit he tried to. That sounds pretty cool as well. Let's see what the lush ones are saying. Falling in deeper, maybe? Too much harmony. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So maybe my my presets just not that good to be honest. Like it seems like there's a lot of great options in these presets that you can go through and have some things just sounding even better. Not personal, 
and a lot of things that sound completely terrible. Not for me, not for me. <laughs> but there are some great stuff in there. I, I wouldn't use anything in edgy, probably if we go to classic we try for the chorus oh wow yeah did it on my own i don't own nobody nothing built a dream from nothing yeah ain't so many else but had the will to win yeah yeah i think i used one i used one of the clairs i used added texture and then i just edited stuff i can't trust that nigga if he ain't me dog meeting for the real with us but for the chorus sounds pretty nice the safety of Ain't half the Sounds shit you wider. On the drive. That sounds super vocoder. Yeah, so many else, but I had the will to win. Yeah, yeah. I can't trust that nigga if he ain't me, dog. That sounds really, really nice. I might have to use that later in the song. That sounds really, really nice. I'm actually ex excited to play around with a bunch of these other presets because I've just been using my same preset for most of my songs, but it's about time for me to try out these other presets and see the other options that I can get from here. It seems like these advanced settings really do make a difference. For Let me change this and see what changed. Uh, I can't see what changed because it just changed. Sync saw so minus 12. Was it over here? Minus 12 on one of them. So things do change, but honestly, I have no idea because I need to look at everything and, and kind of remember what's going on for me to see what's the actual thing that's changing. But it seems like if you get deeper into these settings, you can actually get that sound exactly how you want it to get. And honestly, I've just been playing with these simple settings, which have given me a little bit of space to maneuver and to try things out, but not as much as I would have if I had really gotten deep into those advanced settings. So that is something to think about. Now, hopefully throughout this video, everything's been recording correctly. <laughs> Uh, let me quickly check that and I'll come back and we'll start talking about whether it's worth the price All right, so I just checked the recording and it seems that we're good Remember I said this uses a lot of CPU so that might mess up my recording But let's get to the price shall we because I believe these are all the features. Yeah, here's the price so you can get vocal synth 2 by itself for $199 then you can get a vocal bundle which comes with nectar 3 which really is worth it for $299, which is a pretty good deal. And you can get the Creative Suite, which comes with Vocal Synth 2, Iris 2, Trash 2, Expanded, Break Tweaker, Star Edit, DDLY, and Mobius Filter. Honestly, if you don't, if you haven't already been in the market for these other plugins, don't even worry about this suite, yeah? I think you can upgrade that at some point in the future if you want to upgrade to the creative suite really we should only be focusing on the vocal bundle and vocal synth 2 because the vocal bundle is great because it comes with nectar 3 and nectar 3 is definitely something that you should think about getting if you're new to mixing your vocals or you just want some extra help mixing your vocals okay i've already done a review on nectar 3 i'll try to remember to leave that link in the description if i don't then let me know or just search my channel for nectar 3 review okay so we're going to focus on this 199 price because that is the price of vocal simp 2 by itself is it worth the price if you plan to use this a lot consistently and you're gonna use it to create interesting vocal lines interesting vocal effects and you want to create songs that are kind of a little bit different a little bit out there a little bit experimental or you just want to add a little bit of extra sauce, a little bit of extra oomph to your vocal recordings, then yes, it's worth the price. If, however, you're unsure about how you're planning to use vocal synth, like you haven't thought you wanted to use a vocoder or you want to use a talk box or you want to use the whole thing or you want to do anything experimental with your vocals, you just want your vocals to sound nice, it's not worth the price. No, it's a bit expensive to do that. But the thing is, yeah, 
you can actually get this for i believe it's like 9.99 a month or ten dollars a month if you go to splice yeah splice they've got a rent to own program with vocal synth which you can pay i think it's 9.99 for 12 months yeah 99 not 12 20 months so it's 9.99 for 20 months you can try it free for three days there's also a free trial if you just go to the website you can pause or cancel at any time and there's no hidden fees or interest this basically comes up to the same price 199 but you're only paying 99 9.99 a month so i highly suggest to go this route if you don't have the money on you right about now and you just want to try it out honestly if you just want to try it out get the free trial <laughs> like that's what the free trial is for if you can, please go through my link, go to jcarteray.com forward slash vocal synth two, and that will bring you to purchase it on Plugin Boutique. And I'll get a small commission if you do that. It really helps me out, helps out the channel, and helps me be able to continue making these videos for you. But if you want to use Splice, I totally get that. I don't think I'll have a link for Splice because they don't really do that. But I understand getting that rent to own thing and paying $9.99 a month is just more reasonable. It's easier for you to deal with. So I'd honestly recommend that if you can't buy it all at once. But if you can buy it all at once, go through that link, jcarterray.com forward slash vocal simp2. I'll leave that link in the description down below. But also remember to get the free trial, try it out, see if you like it, try it out on some songs, see if you like the direction you're going in, see if it's something that you see yourself using on a consistent basis. If you're not gonna use this consistently or at least on every other track, or at least a one in five tracks, then I can't really justify you purchasing it because it's quite expensive and it needs to be used. If you're spending that money, that much money on it, you need to be using it, right? Like that's why I can easily recommend stuff like Nectar, Nectar 2, or is it Nectar 3? Nectar 3, because you'll pretty much use that on every song that you make. This, however, it's more of a context related thing. So if you want to use vocal during this song or that song, then you're more likely going to bring up a vocal synth too. But if you want a vocoder, if you want a CompuVox or TalkBox, or you want some interesting vocal effects, this is the place to be. Vocal Simp 2 is gonna be a great choice for you, okay? Now, if you got any questions or you got any other products, plugins, VSTs you want me to review or any other tutorials and reviews you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below. My question of the day is what was your favorite effect from Vocal Simp 2 or what do you want to use vocal synth 2 for let me know in the comment section down below now in the next video you're going to learn more about music online business and online marketing so i'll see you there peace out